Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So here I'm going to talk about summer research internship program which is organized by IIT Gandhinagar and it's a very good opportunity especially for the students who are in their bachelors and masters. That means if you are in BSc or MSc or if you are BTech or MTech then also you are eligible to apply for this. Uh, this is a very good opportunity provided by IIT Gandhinagar and this time this internship program is going to be offline. Every year it happens to be offline, but last year in 2021 due to COVID, it happened online. But this year again, it is going to be conducted offline. So all the details about it, like how you can apply, what are the conditions. And one more very important thing that you are also going to get a stipend if you, uh, if you are selected for this internship. So what is the process, how you can apply, what is the complete procedure of it? Uh, what are the benefits of it what are some general questions regarding it everything i'm going to explain in this video so stay tuned till the end of this video to watch each and every section of that if you are interested to watch a specific part of this video then the timestamp is there in the description of this video you can just uh, like scroll around to a particular section of the video right so now without wasting any time let's continue with our video All right, so this is the official page of uh, summer research internship program by IIT Gandhinagar. I'll give you a link to reach out to this page. Uh, the link will be there in the description of this video. You can directly come over here. Now, this is a very comprehensive website, okay? Everything is given very nicely over here. All the informations and other things are there. So right now I'm on the home tab, okay? Whatever you want, you can go to the other tabs and read about them. So let's go one by one and try to understand. So let's talk about guidelines first of all. If I click on the guidelines, I'll be taken to this particular page where I'll be given that what are the conditions. So for students for whom this uh, internship is, so the eligibility is that a student pursuing a bachelor's or master's degree at a prominent institute of India. So you should be either BSc student or MSc student, you can apply for it, right? You should be currently doing, you should not be MSc pass out, okay? You should be enrolled into some institute. That's the important thing. Next, what is the duration of it? So it's a eight week or you can say it's a two month program and uh, within the summer break of IIT Gandhinagar and last date of receiving application is March 25th of 2022. So this is the date which you should need, uh, which you should know. What are the requirements that the applicants are required to work with IIT Gandhinagar faculty? Applicants are advised to review the list of participating faculty along with the description of the project being offered. I'll talk about this at the later part of this video. Uh, then applicants may apply for the internship based on their interest and prior experiences if uh, like they are free to apply for project outside of their declared degree specialization as well. Applicants will be required to make a presentation to the institute and submit a report at the end of the tenure. So if you are selected and if you are going to do this particular internship, so at the end of, end of this internship, you have to present your work. Okay, so that's what it is being asked. Also, if you have a certain experience in a particular field or if you are interested in a particular field, then you can choose at, uh, like either that field or you can also switch the field. That is also uh, like you are free to do that. So in the present scenario, SRIP 2022 will be conducted in the offline mode. So this time, as I said, that it is going to be conducted in the offline mode. In-person mode or offline mode is what they are calling it. So is the mode the students are expected to work on the project in person and interact with the faculty mentor in on a regular basis uh, while staying on the campus. So you have to go to IIT Gandhinagar, stay in the campus and have or enjoy this whole uh, internship program. Okay, This mode is open to all the students internal and external. That means internal means the students of IIT Gandhinagar, external means the students who are not from IIT Gandhinagar, they are from an, any other institute and want to join over. Right? The interns will be entitled to receive a stipend and certificate on successful completion of the internship, right? As clear as it that at the completion of your uh, internship program, you will be given one certificate and you will also get a stipend out of that. Uh, what is the provision for the student interns? So weekly stipend of 2000 rupees will be paid to you. So weekly stipend of 2000 rupees and you are getting for eight weeks. So every week 2000 rupees for 8 weeks that means total you are going to get 16000 rupees on uh, like complete for this particular internship right the stipend for faculty funded project however however may vary 
तो फैकल्टी फंडेड प्रोजेक्ट्स आर दोज ऑन विच द फैकल्टी माइट टेक यू एज ए एक्स्ट्रा इंटर्न तो द स्टाइपेंड माइट वेरी इन दैट केस ओके हॉस्टल एकोमोडेशन विल बी प्रोवाइडेड टू द समर इंटर्न एंड स्टूडेंट्स आर रिक्वायर टू पे द एप्लीकेबल हॉस्टल फीस तो हॉस्टल चार्ज ऑल्सो इफ यू लाइक इफ यू विल स्टे ओवर देर ऑफ कोर्स यू विल बी यू नीड सम अकोमोडेशन राइट सो द इंस्टीट्यूट इज प्रोवाइडिंग यू हॉस्टल एंड यू विल हैव टू पे द हॉस्टल फीस हॉस्टल फीस इज वेरी लो आई हैव रेड समेयर इट्स हंड्रेड रुपीज ओनली सो यू डोंट हैव टू वरी अबाउट दैट ओके एप्लीकेशन प्रोसीजर फॉर दैट यू हैव टू क्लिक ओवर हेयर एंड नोट दैट एप्लीकेट्स शुड नॉट सेंड हार्ड कॉपी ऑफ द फील्ड एप्लीकेशन फॉर्म टू आई टी गांधीनगर So you just have to make everything online. So if you click on this link, you will be taken to a page. This is going to be the page. Okay. Now this is Summer Research Internship Program SRIP two thousand twenty two. There are different links on this page. There is nothing on this page. Just four links are there: flyer, results, portal, and FAQ. Now flyer is nothing but you are going to get a whole like. Uh, a good poster of it right so this is the poster of uh, uh, srip 2022 eligibility is given in short duration is given over here application starts on 7th of march and application like how you have to apply on this website you have to apply stipend of 2000 per week and this is the email id to contact for any other detail right what are the highlights you will get lecture series chalk the talk you will get diaries you will get poster sessions then a cultural activities and sports So these are some highlights of it. So this is what you get on the flyer. Uh, if I get back a uh, result uh, like this is inactive because still people have not applied. So the result is not uploaded. Result means here the list of the candidates will be given who are selected for internship. Okay, so this will be active later on. This is portal and this is FAQ. So let's first go to FAQ. Okay, FAQ means frequently asked questions. So these are some. frequently asked question let's see what are these questions over here so first question is that i am native of india presently is studying abroad can i apply for sri srip so it says yes you can apply but you have to come back and you have to stay in the campus okay i am interested in more than one project in srip am i allowed to apply so yes you need to apply separately for each project multiple application are permitted if you are applying in different projects so you have to apply separately for different different projects okay I gave incorrect data while filling up the application form. Can I reapply? So yes, you can reapply. Okay. Then is SRIP open to UG students of all years? So it says students in first, second, and third year of UG studies are encouraged to apply. Students in their first year of PG studies, uh, PG studies can also apply. So either if you are in first year, second year, or third year of your undergraduate means bachelor's, or in your first year of PS uh, like sorry masters, then also you can apply. can i contact individual faculty regarding projects floated by them on the srip so uh, one can search in the internet and find more details about the projects floated you are not supposed to mail the faculty regarding the uh, regarding this after applying such emails will be ignored okay next says that uh, when can i uh, know the result of the selection process so basically the result is going to be expected by the end of april so i am available for less than 8 weeks in this summer can i apply so no you have to be available for minimum 8 weeks for srip if you want to get selected and want to like pursue throughout the internship program so how much stipend will be provided to the intern so in person offline mode a weekly stipend of 2000 for the minimum of 8 weeks duration of internship at iit gandhinagar is provided to the most of the intern however this amount may vary for faculty funded interns which i already told you about how srip intern supported financially so most students are supported through the resources available with iit gandhinagar will i get a certificate on completion of srip yes okay what is the basis of selection of the internship so candidate candidates overall profile is reviewed including academic background performance research interest alignment with the proposed uh, project and prior experience if any how is the selection made individual faculty members identify the most suitable candidate for the project Okay this is very important what should i write in the statement of purpose so you may write what are your research interest why you want to do an intern at iit gandhinagar and how you will be able to contribute to the particular research project based on your previous exposure slash training during your undergraduate program okay so you have to actually write sop uh, statement of purpose for this internship so for that they have given you hint that how you can write that Okay can i get hostel accommodation yes you will get that and you have to pay 100 rupees per day so 100 rupees per day is the charge for hostel accommodation 
कैन ए स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन प्रोजेक्ट बिफोर अराइविंग एट आई टी गांधीनगर सो स्टूडेंट्स आर एनकरेज टू वर्क ऑन द प्रोजेक्ट इवन बिफोर कमिंग टू आई टी गांधीनगर दिस विल गिव दैम अ गुड हैड स्टार्ट एंड ऑल दो थिंग्स आर गिवन इज द पोस्टर प्रेजेंटेशन मस्ट फॉर द इंटर्स फॉर द फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ आई टी गांधीनगर पोस्टर प्रेजेंटेशन इज मस्ट बट फॉर एक्सटर्नल स्टूडेंट्स इट्स एनकरेज टू पार्टिसिपेट इन दैट बट इट्स नॉट मस्ट फॉर दैम इज एस आर आई पी रिपोर्ट सबमिशन मैंडेटरी येस इट इज मैंडेटरी Is IIT Gandhi Nagar campus accessible to differently abled person? So yes, the campus is accessible. Is it safe for women? So yes, it is totally safe for women. So all these FAQs, why I have read because most of your questions would have been from this thing only. Okay, so I have just given you a brief idea that what might be the questions and what could be the answer for them. Right, coming back to this page now. This is the portal. Okay, you have to come over here. and once you click on this portal you will be taken to a page where all the uh, like things will be here see pros uh, prospective intern selected intern faculty coordinator now since you are applying for it you are a pro prospective intern selected interns are those who will get selected after application okay so faculty is those who are those faculty who are taking part coordinator is the srip coordinator so those links are not for you this link a uh, prospective intern is for you so you click on this link prospective intern and then you will be taken to a page where projects will be displayed okay now here you will see that there are 1 2 3 4 5 columns first column is project code second column is project title third column is the project description and fourth column is faculty name fifth project is what is the mode so most of the projects you will see that they are in person mode only so all the projects are actually in person mode there are total 101 projects theek okay? hai and it's not necessary that total like in each project one student is only going to be selected there can be more than one students selected in a project so total around 200 to 240 students are selected all in all uh, for this internship program so you should apply for it okay so what you have to look up on now since the channel since this channel resonates with the chemistry student so i'll talk about chemistry people so what you have to find out is those topics which are related to chemistry so this is material design for organic light emitting diode right so oled this is something related to chemistry you can see display and light technology based on organic light emitting diodes have steadily increased in popularity from the automotive industry to smartphone and television so you can read about this if you click like you can go and read about it more in more detail but uh, what you have to see is which faculty is conducting this okay just the name of that faculty you have to note down so like that you have to sort down ki which topics you are interested in okay next is like uh, see this is if you scroll down there are so all the detail about it right so you can just go for it and read about it next this project which says a structural mo uh, modeling of proteins involved in uh uh circadian regulations right so physiology and behavior of almost all living organism is synchronized so all these things are see it's given in detail so you, you just have to read about it this is also related to some bio and chemistry thing okay so you can also think of applying for this the faculty name is ashutosh srivastava analysis of molecular dynamic trajectories as time dependent network so this is also something uh, which is related to chemistry and biology okay so if you are a chemistry student and interested in some bio uh, like uh, related stuffs these are some topics which you can look upon okay so they are these are this is how you have to go like mathematics of sudoku this is not for chemistry student this is for maths student right uh, you can come down a little bit and look upon here like uh, this faculty iti gupta ma'am she has most of the topics related to organic see synthesis of pyrrole based organic dyes photocatalytic reaction of organic transformations so these are all some so like i have just given you example of some projects which are related to chemistry you have to go through all these 101 uh, like um, projects and see that which project is most uh, like resonates with what you think of or what your idea is or what you are interested in so if you are interested in organic chemistry you can go for that if you are uh, let's say interested in uh, uh, the structure or, or you are interested in let's say uh, physical chemistry and solid state chemistry then small molecule crystallography right so this is a topic which is going to resonate with your interest so there are so many interest sorry so many topics and it any of them is definitely is going to uh, come across your interest okay so you have to select the project title and you have to see the faculty name you have to remember the faculty name that is very important okay so let's say 
that I am interested in organic chemistry and this is the topic which I want to do my internship on synthesis of parole based organic dyes right now I don't have to if you want you can note down everything but I will just remember the name of uh, faculty that is Iti Gupta now once I have selected this I have to go to apply for that okay so now I can go and I can apply for this so once you click here on apply a new page will open where you can you have to fill all the details okay so in the first column itself it asks about the project detail where faculty project code and project title are, are asked as i said you just have to remember the faculty name so you i i remembered that it is iti gupta so i will just take iti gupta i will just select that and the other project code and project title will itself come okay i don't have to select that see there are two project codes and there are two project titles so basically if i take uh, IPOI uh, 005. So, if I select that, it will load and here is my title synthesis of parole based organic dyes. If you remember the uh, supervisor names or the faculty name, it will be easy for you to track your project. This is how you have to select the project. Intern ID will be generated automatically so that you don't have to do anything. You have to fill your full name, mobile number, email ID, alternate email ID, permanent city, date of birth degree what degree you are doing if you are a bsc student just write down bsc if you are a msc student write down bsc uh, sorry write down msc which department you are from msc people basically will write down chemistry department physics department whatever department they are from college name year of joining the college then college address your cgpa or percentage whatever you have got till now okay whatever you have got till now you, that you have to uh, give over here then your gender and then you have to write down statement of purpose over here okay so statement of purpose is as it was given in faq that what you have to write down that why you are interested in that particular work um, how you can how you are going to contribute with whatever knowledge you have in that particular project why you want to join as an intern in this particular program so once you will be done with all these things and at the end it says will you be able to complete six week of internship between april to june so you just have to press yes and then you have to submit once you submit your application process your application will be submitted and in that case after some days means once the last date of this application process uh, ends uh, that is on 25th of march so the result will come in the month of april so in the month of april on the same website here the result will be displayed so this link will become active at that time right now it is inactive all right now it might be possible that you are interested in two projects so first just by one project you have to fill and you have to submit then again you have to select some other professor let's say i am interested to work under asutosh srivastava sir as well so i'll just click his name i'll select the project code and then i'll select the project title and then again i will fill in the same way okay so you can apply for more than one projects as well it should matter that your sop should be according to that particular project and your interest should match with that particular project okay so this is how you have to fill the form this is how you have to apply for summer research internship program this is highly recommended uh, every one of you whosoever is in bsc or msc whosoever is eligible for this please do take advantage of these type of programs which iits conduct these are going to help you if you want to do further studies if you want to do higher uh, studies these internships are going to help you later on right so this is a good way to get into the research kind of exposure okay so yeah this was all about this video i hope that whatever we discussed is clear to you and uh, i just try to make a short video so that i inform you with you, i inform all the things with you guys if you have any other question you can ask that in the comment section below i'll try to answer you over there itself and that's all from my side thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care hey guys so i teach live on unacademy plus platform here i teach for the csi or ugc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes we have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this
थैंक यू सो मच